Fantastic to meet you both. Maybe for people who don't know anything about the film Tucked, you can give a brief introduction and tell us a little bit about your characters. Well, <clears throat> it's really very sad. I mean, you have to see the movie. You know, there's nothing worse than saying what you're playing because you never really know. You don't know until you see it. So I can't really say. <laughs> I can't really say. I have enough trouble doing it on screen yeah, yeah, yeah. without talking about it. And, and what can you tell us about your character, Faith? And, and what was it about this role that, that made you want to be involved with the film? Um, so, yeah. Uh, the, He's the very good in it. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, I mean, it was an honour to work with Darren, honestly. Uh, I was kind of brought in quite um, last minute uh, uh, and I was you know, shown this script uh, that was speaking of a kind of intergenerational relationship um, between two men from very different uh, backgrounds and very different understandings of life but I kind of brought together in, in this uh, very real and um, not often spoken about way which I thought was really interesting. I personally am um, incredibly interested in uh, the spectrum of gender and sexuality and uh, it's something I just explore in my life um, and so when this film came along I thought it was almost meant to. So I was like yeah I'd love to. Yeah. I think too if, if people can understand when someone is a cross-dresser and he has to do it, what a tragedy that is. And people might not snigger if they begin to understand a little bit more about the compulsion. And it's not, it's not funny, it's something that can destroy lives. And the terrible thing is, there is no other way. They can't do it, no matter what sacrifices all around. So if that helps a few, that would be good. And how do you go about preparing to play roles like this? You know, did you have to do a lot of research? How did you, and then even the, I guess the physical aspect was important in terms of the aesthetic of the film too. Um, well, I have, I feel I have a, quite a weight on my shoulders being that um, the LGBTQ world is something that needs to be uh, given an accurate and, and honest and um, you know, nuanced depiction. I think it's 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 very easy to um, to rely on tropes and uh, I don't know, almost kind of like cliches. Um, so, yeah, going into the role, I I am very fortunate to have friends around me from all walks of life, from all forms of expression, and I made sure that I had them close by. Um, and you know, I just I was it was it's, it's a part of my life that I've always loved and been proud to to be part of, you know, that's that whole scene. Um, so yeah, I just made sure that I was, um, I was doing justice, you know. Did you have a most challenging moment to film or, or funniest moment on set? They're all, they are all challenging. This there's no, there's no such Lizzie thing as an easy thing. Well, well, they're all trying. Mind you, but Jamie the said, I've written a film stopped. for you. And I said, oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Well, what what do I play? He said, you play a drag queen and a cross-dresser. I said, I beg your pardon? <laughs> what? Actually, what? It's ruined my big toes. <laughs> Yo, yeah, oh. talking about challenging, you see some of the heels as Don's walking oh in. Oh, my but I, God. Uh, what, what was so phenomenal about this is the team you made it, Jamie, the director, um, and his, his whole Jumpstart production team, they managed to pull out, like, I think quite an incredible film in a very, very short space of time. And Darren, I tell you what, in terms of inspirational, some of the hours that we put in to shoot, we're finishing at 6, 7 a.m. and this guy was, was right there, like leading the front and um, yeah. Old, old war horse, you know. Yeah, no, it was like, you know, it was as, as an as a upcoming actor myself, it was very inspiring to, to work alongside someone who wasn't complaining the whole time. It's very, <laughs> it's very difficult to be in a dress in the middle of the night in Brighton when it's cold and um, you really need thick underpants. Yeah. Well, and yeah, I think, I think, well, I've got a few mates who would argue that actually, they say that, <laughs> and say that it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a freedom in itself. But yeah, I, uh, 
it was challenging for that. There were some very high heels and there was some some uh -huh. some compromising clothing, but you know that's all part of it. Yeah. I actually felt I will say there's one scene where I had to walk down Western Road, which is a, a road I'd walked down a lot as a, as a young man, and welcome to in a complete fair. in these you know, very skin tight jeans, this little backpack, just looking very I don't know Blue Paris is burning kind of esque. I don't know, and and like I, it was I felt truly. I don't know, I felt truly comfortable and, and like quite proud. It was a very eye-opening experience. I, they did the makeup for me as the drag queen, and I looked in the mirror and I thought, it's my mother. <laughs> my mother. Oh, God, yes. I look like my mother. I, I personally think I look like Beyonce at times. <laughs> Okay, and just finally, you know, what do you think the importance is of film festivals such as this and, and, and giving people greater insight into our evolving idea of gender identity? Uh, we're in an incredible time where there are voices being heard that have previously had to live in the shadows, which is, I think is another incredible aspect of this film. Um, like I say, intergenerational, there was an era when a suppressed idea of oneself was, was lived in the shadows. Um, and now these film festivals are incredibly important because it's not a new thing. It's just a, a thing that is now finding space. The whole the whole sexual spectrum, trans spectrum, everything has, has been at the, the, the heart, the soul of our invention, our culture, our societies for, for since, the, since the dawn of time, since the dawn of, of consciousness. And, and it's, it's only right that, that, is, that the space is being given, I think. And, and I mean, when it was in Los Angeles, in, in the festival there, it's it's really lovely when they say the forgotten the forgotten British lion roars again, and you feel yeah, we show you we show you, yeah. yeah. And I think too it's very good because it's an amazing industry and it's very difficult and very hard, and um, the more people know about it and the suffering, the better really, because people. I mean, I did a film many, many years ago called Victim, which was to do with homosexuality with Dirk Bogard. And that, in fact, tended to change the law, because in those days, you could go to prison for being a homosexual. And so that changed, helped to change the law. And, you know, things can change through film. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on the film and enjoy the screening tonight. Thank you very Thanks much. a lot Appreciate for your time.